Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 3 raised to the power of square root of t equals 27 raised to the power of t. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. So we have solution. Now, we can ensure that the two bases here are the same. This is 3. And 3 is, we have it here raised to the power of square root of t equals 27 here. We can express it as 3 to the power of 3. That is 3 times 3 times 3. And this is raised to the power of t. So right now, if you have a raised to the power of m, and this is raised to the power of m, this equals a raised to the power of n times m. So we apply that here. We have 3 raised to the power of square root of t. This equals 3 power 3 times t. That is 3t. Now, if you have a power x, equals a to the power of y, that means x equals y. So, we apply that same identity here, square root of t, 3t. That means square root of t equals 3t. So what we are going to do, will be to eliminate the square root by taking the squares, of both part of this equation. Now, if you have square root of x, this is just like having x power 1 over 2. So if you take the squares, just like taking the squares here, so if you multiply this, 1 over 2 times 2, that is 2 over 2, and that cancel out, you have 1. So this cancel out this, we have t equals for this we need to distribute these powers to each of the terms here remember if you have a times b raised to the power of c this equals a power c times b power c so we have 3 power 2 times t power 2 so from here we have t equals 3 power 2 is 9 times t to the power of 2. So from here we have t equals this is 9 t squared. This equation here, I can solve it in two ways. I can decide to move this t by here. That would be 0 equals 9 t squared minus t. I can also decide to divide each part of this equation by t. We have t equals 9t squared. We divide this by t. Divide this by t. t cancel t. This gives you 1. Equals 9t squared divided by t. This means you have 9t power 2 minus 1 because this is raised to the power of 1. When the bases are the same, you subtract the exponent. So this will give you 1 equals 90 because 2 minus 1 is 1. And t power 1 is t. So from here, you can just rearrange this. You have 90 equals 1. You divide this by 9 to isolate t. Divide this by 9. 9 comes to 9. And t equals 1 over 9. Right? So you can do the same thing here. Can have 9t squared minus t equals 0, and you can isolate it. There's t here, there's t here, you can isolate it. Have t times this device t, have 9t minus t device t, half 1, and this equals 0. And from here, you can equate t to 0, I have t 
equals zero and also of 90 minus one equals zero so this is solved already for this i move negative one over here of 90 equals one so to solve for t here i divide this by nine divide this by nine nine cancel nine so I have t equals one over nine now using this method here we are gotten two different solutions which are t equals zero and t equals one over nine one using this method of just dividing we have one over nine alone so let's check for the two solutions that we have gotten of check of t equals zero of t equals one over nine this is three power square root of t equals 27 power t and let's start when t is zero i have three power square root of zero equals 27 power zero and from here of 3 power square root of 0 is 0 equals 27 power 0 and from here any number raised to the power 0 is 1 so exception of 0 is solved so 3 power 0 this is 1 equals 27 power 0 will give you 1 as well we have 1 on both sides and that shows that this answer is also very correct let's consider when t equals 1 over 9 I have 3 to the power of square root of t equals 27 power t and t is 1 over 9. I have 3 power square root of 1 over 9 equals 27 power 1 over 9. So, if you have square root of a over b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So, square root of 1 is 1. This is 3 to the power of this is 1 divided by square root of 9 is 3. Right? We just apply this right here. And this equals 27 power 1 over 9. And from here, of 3 power 1 over 3 equals 27 is 3 power 3. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 9. This is a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So from here, I have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 3 power 3 times 1. This is 3 over 9. 3 cancel itself once, cancel now we have 3. We have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 3 power this is 1 over 3. Now, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1, which is simply the n root of a. So 3 power 1 over 3 will be the cube root of 3 power 1, and this is the cube root of 3 power 1. And from here, 3 power 1 is 3, we have cube root of 3. And this equals the cube root of 3. This side and this side are now the same. So guys, this is it. And this is how you solve these exponential problems step by step. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.